everyone, it's Amanda from Two Doves Nation and I have today off and we are hungry. So we decided to come to our favorite place, one of our favorite places in Houston, Fung's Kitchen. It is a dim sum place and I love some dim sum. Uh, this is one of my favorite dim sum places. It's right on the edge of Chinatown and it's just good dim sum. I don't know if during the week if they have the carts that will actually come around and everything, but they do have it on the weekends. So come on, let's check it out. Hi. Two, please. Yes. Thank you. That's fine, thank you. So we're here at Fung's Kitchen and I want to show you or tell you a little about how dim sum works. Uh, they have carts that come around and they keep them warm and dim sum is generally served for breakfast and lunch and you have fried items and buns and dumplings and vegetables and porridge. It's just a lot of different things. Um, sorry for the interruption. We just got the seaweed salad and what they do is they come around with their carts and they'll stamp on your thing um, what you get and then at the end of the meal you go up and they'll bring it all up for you. Um, you have to be careful because you can order and not realize how much of a tap you're building up. But just got some seaweed salad. Um, during the week it's a little bit more calm, but on the weekend it's humongous. Sometimes you have trouble parking and everything, but it's super delicious. Uh, they also have a picture menu for the dim sum, and you can request what dim sum that you want if you don't see it on the carts. And picture menu. They also have a written menu to go along with the picture menu that everything corresponds with. And then they also have just regular dishes. They're not just a dim sum restaurant. They also have regular dishes that you can choose. And they have uh, specialty menu items. And they even have like set menus that you can order for families and everything. Almost dumped it out. I have some seaweed salad right here. Put a little on my plate. Mm -hmm. Almost dumped it out. I didn't realize it has was so slippery. So I'm super excited because what I have here is a rice bowl, but it's got pork spare ribs, and one of my all-time favorite Chinese dishes is chicken feet. Don't knock it until you try it, because I'm a southern girl, and I grew up not liking chicken feet and everything, but it was served. But Chinese, when they braise it, and it's so soft, they're delicious. So, I'm gonna dip me some rice first. and grab up some of those oh you see all the steam coming off of it the pork spare ribs with it and then i'm gonna grab me a chicken feet all right first some rice and pork mm. Hot. Very hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the way to eat chicken feet is to pick it up with your chopsticks and start gnawing at the toes. 
but it has a lot of bones so what you do is you just pick out the bones and keep going This is one of the few places I eat chicken feet at because I like their chicken feet and the way that they prepare them and season them. Look what I have here. Coconut curry lobster. You see the steam coming off of that? Ooh, let's dig in. <laughs> so we just got some of the curry, the coconut curry lobster, and it came with like crispy fried noodles and they like soak up the curry sauce. So they're still a little crunchy. They're soaked in curry sauce. Oh my gosh. Ooh, guess what I have? The lobster head. You know you're supposed to suck the head, always. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit and break it up. Stir it up. Oh, it's kind of not as soupy as I'm used to. So I'm going to eat it with some noodles and curry sauce. Mm. That curry sauce is a bomb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just got done at Fung's Kitchen, and it was awesome, delicious, and we kind of splurged on lunch. Like I said, if you don't pay attention uh, about how many plates and stuff you get, uh, it can add up pretty quickly, but we did have a lobster dish, and we had like vegetables, and we have a little to-go bag and stuff, so... Overall, we spent about 50 bucks with tip included on our meal today, but it was delicious. We don't do this all the time, and um, we actually went when it wasn't so crazy, and it was kind of nice. It can be pretty hectic on the weekends with um, all the noise and all the carts going by, but that's part of the fun of eating dim sum and stuff too. So, hope you enjoyed this, and... If you like our video, think about subscribing and leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time. 2Dev Nation, out.